Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist by Destiny. Today we will see how to synthesize calcium acetate. In this video we are going to use some very common reagents such as uh, uh, acetic acid, uh, which is a common vinegar, and then uh, also we are going to use uh, calcium carbonate, uh, which you can easily find in the shells of eggs. So, let's see this experiment. The procedure for the curling experiment is to weigh 20 grams of calcium carbonate and then mix it with a solution of 6% acetic acid, which is about 350 milliliters. Um, after we do that, uh, we will see that the reaction occurs uh, and CO2 is produced. Uh, we will stop mixing uh, or uh, let it settle until the reaction stops uh, and we don't see any more bubbles uh, forming. Uh, after that, uh, you can do two things. Uh, the first uh, is to filter the solution in order to eliminate uh, the excessive uh, carbon car uh, the calcium carbonate in the solution or uh, you can add some acetic acid uh, in order to make it uh, react and uh, put it out of the solution. Uh, then uh, we are going to put it on uh, our oven uh, because uh, we want to eliminate all the resting water uh, because uh, uh, calcium acetate is soluble in water uh, so we are going to heat it up uh, and uh, later on uh, we just have to uh, dry our uh, salt uh, that uh, forms. So guys, what we can see uh, from this reaction is that uh, our reagents that are acetic acid and uh, also uh, calcium carbonate reacts with um, a reaction that um, allows to exchange the ions and in fact what is produced uh, from this reaction is actually our final product that is uh, calcium acetate and also carbon dioxide and water. Um, even though we produce uh, uh, calcium acetate, this is uh, soluble in water, so uh, we have to separate it from uh, water and in order to do so, we will heat up the solution and so uh, by heating it, uh, our water will boil out and so we will get our product uh, in a solid form.
guys, the experiment is over and we want to tell you something about the last part of this experiment. In fact, when we heat up the solution, you have to be really careful at the end of the process. In fact, um, we, what we can see is that uh, our uh, product is, um, is formed in, uh, in a solid form, but you have to be really careful because uh, you must not overgo uh, to, with this uh, heating. In fact, uh, if you uh, heat too much uh, this solid, uh, this can cause uh, um, that we, uh, our product won't be uh, pure, and so our um, synthesis will fail. So, everyone, if you like this video, please let us know in the comments. Uh, and if you want to see more amazing experiments like this, uh, go visit our page and subscribe to it. Uh, so, for today's all, thanks for watching, guys.